So to make the joining lap, we're going to start with these great big sheets. These sheets come four foot uh, wide and anywhere from eight to ten feet long. They go back behind all our tool cabinets. We're going to pull these out. You can get a pair of pliers out of locker number three. Um, with the thin metal that we're using, we can actually cut two sheets at a time. So I've got two sheets here. I'm just going to grab one with my pliers and I'm going to slide this out a ways because we're going to mark this so I can cut it. If we run out of the sheets that we're going to cut, you can come talk to me. I'll get you a sharpie and we can grab our four foot steel rule out of lock number four and we're going to mark this. You'll notice this edge is very crooked. That's fine. We're going to use the squaring shears to square everything up. We're going to measure over from this edge 23 inches. And the reason we do 23 inches is because the capacity on our squaring shear, our little one, is 24 inches. Uh, we get a little bit of variation here, so just to make sure it'll still fit, we're going to mark it at 23 inches. This line does not have to be super accurate, that's why we're using a sharpie instead of a scratch all. So we're going to measure over 23 inches, and just like we've always done, we're going to mark two arrows. And draw that line. All right. So we can set those aside. Cap back on the sharpie. Uh, you're going to do this. You're going to mark it. You're going to go over to locker number eight, and you're going to find these electric shears for me. Uh, there's an extension cord. It's usually in locker number seven. You're going to get this all plugged in. Uh, then you're going to call me over and I will do the cutting part for you. The, uh, so we're ready to cut. slips, it's going to get yanked out of your hands, it can cut, uh, cut quite badly. So we need to be very careful with this. I'm going to carry this over to the table, get her set up, and show you the next step. So here at the table, a couple of things to keep in mind with this sheet. Again, remember that it's very sharp. Never leave the sheet where it's hanging over the edges of the table. If it sticks out like this, uh, somebody can walk by, get cut on that. We want to make sure the whole piece is completely on the table so nothing's sticking out. We need to cut a strip off the bottom that is four inches wide. These two edges you can tell they're very crooked, can't really measure from them. This edge is nice and straight, so we're going to measure over. We're going to mark our two arrows, and we're going to scratch our line. So again, we're going to go four inches. Might be a little easier if you use a shorter ruler. But I've got this one handy, so I'm going to use it. There's my first arrow. My second arrow, and again, we've been practicing the arrows on paper. You make the little tick marks like you would in drafting. It gets very hard to find those. So I've got two arrows. I'm going to use the scratch all to mark my line. I'm going to put that on that point right there. Line up this side and scratch this line. Go all the way across, but don't go off the edge and poke the table. Get it close. Should be good enough. 
Second rule again is always measure twice, cut once. So I'm going to put this back on there, double check and make sure it looks like it's very accurate. Probably a good idea on this one to check a couple of different spots and make sure it's four inches. This is the most important cut of the whole piece. We're going to cut this off and if this line is crooked, it goes like that, even a little bit, it's going to make it kind of tricky to put this together. Not impossible. Don't throw away metal if you think you messed it up. I can show you how to fix it. We can salvage it. All right? So we've got a line marked. We're going to head over to the squaring shears and cut that piece off. So we've got a piece of right here. Again, I've mentioned we need to be very careful when we're carrying it. Uh, I really, I know it sounds really cool when you shake it like this. I don't want to hear that. That means you're whipping a sharp piece of metal around. I don't want to hear it. Okay. Very carefully, we're going to set our piece of metal up underneath the hold down bar. So you can see our line here, I hope. Might be kind of hard to see this video. But we're going to line that up just like we practiced behind the hold down bar. And we are going to trim that whole piece off. Okay? So you got a big long piece of metal that's kind of draped over here. You need to be careful. It's hanging down. Uh, when we put the uh, handle down to cut, we got a pinch point here. We don't want to get our fingers smashed between the metal and the handle. So keep that in mind, especially as this piece of metal gets shorter. Uh, if we've got the end of the metal right here, we've got a sharp edge. And uh, we really don't want to get our hand caught between a sharp edge and the handle. It will cut you. So keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to start working this in. Use a flashlight if you want, but we're going to get that situated all the way across where I think it looks good. Lower the hold down bar and check it again. I'm a little off, so I'm going to raise the hold down bar. And I like to grab, so I've got my finger against the table here, and I'm kind of pushing with my thumb. This helps me move it just a little bit. Good on that side. I like it. So I'm ready to cut. So we're going to chop that all the way off. Again, watching the fingers. I've got my fingers back. Handle all the way back. This piece of metal we can go set back over by where we cut it from for the next person. We're going to do that. And here's my strip. Here's why we like the squaring shears so much. We have a straight edge here and a straight edge here. These two lines should be perfectly parallel. This line, not so much. The steel rule right here that's attached to the table is at a perfect 90 degree angle to the blade. That means I can take this edge, and if I put that edge against the ruler, I can slide that under, and I'm looking in here, and I'm just going to trim just a little piece off. I don't need to cut a whole bunch off, but if I cut that, sometimes also it doesn't cut all the way, so you might have to run the handle up and down a couple of times to get it to cut all the way off. This is now squared. It's not a square. Again, we've got a rectangle, but this angle right here is 90 degrees. We can do the same thing to this end. This end is also pretty curvy. We can set it against there, slide it in, and chop just a little bit off, enough to go all the way across. Oh, see that one? There it goes. That one didn't cut the first time but you gotta make sure you're tight against the ruler right there. So this piece of metal has been squared. We're, this is the start. We've got four inches. And if you remember, we needed five pieces that measure four by two. Here's why we like this machine. 
we don't have to mark it. This ruler lets us cut two inch increments. So if I slide this in here, my ruler ends at 12 inches just off the camera here, but it's, it's kind of messed up. So we're gonna start at 11. You, you also can't see 11 in the camera. I'm gonna put this edge, this corner, all the way back here at 11. Just like this, again, tight to the ruler, and I'm gonna cut it off. So I've got two pieces. This piece is 11 inches. This, we don't know, doesn't matter. So with this four inch strip, we're actually cutting enough metal for two people. So with a partner, if you mark that four inch line, the other partner can use this piece and cut their two inch chunks out of it, uh, or you can just bring it to me. This piece is 11 inches. Well, all right, we need a two inch chunk, so it's 11 minus two. Nine inches, right there. So if I cut that, the piece that falls out the back is should be perfectly four inches by two inches. Okay, we need to do that four more times. I'm gonna set that one aside, nine minus two, seven inches. Seven minus two, five inches. Five minus two, three inches. Now we have a problem. If I pull these out, I've got four pieces that are my four by two and this piece. How am I gonna get, I, I can't read the ruler past three. Well, we can cheat with this piece. We know this is two inches, so if I set that back on there, we're back at five, and I can very carefully scooch that in. We gotta keep it all kind of square. This piece is gonna to wanna to move, so we gotta keep this piece tight against this piece, and this piece tight against the ruler. I'm gonna move that back down to three. And your fingers are kind of really close to that bar. Should, so we're gonna let the hold down bar down. Hold down bar is now clamped. I can move that piece out and cut the last piece. So with the last piece out, we're gonna grab all of our pieces. Now we're just gonna check them. So when we cut this way, that was our four inch cut. So we cut that line all the way across. They should all be pretty close. If we look at this top edge right here, they should be very accurate. So you got a glimpse of it there for a second. Uh, that's the most important way. If we look at it the two inch way, if I check it just on any flat surface, uh, they're wiggling a little bit. But if we look at this edge, they're not perfect. And you can see they're a little off. If they're a little off this way, not a real big deal. Uh, that's not gonna affect it at all. But we are gonna have 120 well, depending on the class, but we're gonna have like a hundred of these little pieces of metal floating around. How are you gonna tell yours from everybody else's? Well, you're gonna take the scratch all. Right now, you're gonna scratch your initials in each of these nice and big, and we're ready for the next step.